the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope. In a shocking astronomical discovery, the James Webb Telescope has unearthed six fully formed galaxies in an earlier time frame of the universe. We are still wandering in awe after looking at the breathtaking image released by NASA's $10 billion machine. The James Webb Telescope is roughly 1 million miles from Earth, looking out into the universe and beyond. But the universe is big, so big that we need to understand one word that helps us comprehend it. A sextillion is a very big number that is hard to imagine. But to put it in perspective, if you have one sextillion grains of sand, you would have more grains of sand that can be found on Earth. Astronomers estimate that there are about 400 billion planets in our galaxy. And with an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, that means there could be 800 sextillion planets out there. And James Webb just received a signal from one of them that is absolutely terrifying. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, is the most powerful telescope ever built by humans. The JWST has a primary mirror of 6.5 meters in diameter, which allows it to collect more light and observe fainter objects than any previous telescope. This telescope has provided new observations that are crucial to understanding the evolution of stars, planets, galaxies, and even the origin of life. However, none of these previous observations are as terrifying as this new one. What exactly has the JWST observed, and how does it affect our universe? Join us as we take a look at the terrifying signal JWST just sent. The James Webb Space Telescope is a remarkable achievement of human ingenuity and scientific exploration. It is the most powerful telescope ever built by humans, surpassing the legendary Hubble Space Telescope in both size and capabilities. The JWST was launched on December 25, 2021 from ESA's launch site at Kourou in French Guiana aboard an Airing Space Airing 5 rocket. After a series of complex maneuvers and tests, it reached its final destination at the second Lagrange point, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, where it operates in a stable orbit. The JWST has a primary mirror of 6.5 meters in diameter, which consists of 18 hexagonal segments that unfold in a line in space. This large mirror allows the JWST to collect more light and observe more fainter objects than any previous telescope. The JWST also has four sophisticated instruments that can detect infrared radiation, which is invisible to the human eye but reveals many secrets of the universe. These instruments are the near-infrared camera, the near-infrared spectrograph, the mid-infrared instrument, and the fine guidance sensor near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. The JWST has made amazing discoveries across the universe, ranging from the first galaxies that formed in the early universe to the formation of solar systems capable of supporting life on planets, like Earth to the evolution of our own solar system. It was named the Science Breakthrough of 2022 by the journal Science, and its operations project scientist Jane Rigby was included in the list of 10 people who helped shape science stories by the journal Nature. It also revealed the first evidence of an exoplanet's surprising chemistry, detecting signals from water and other compounds on WASP-39b. The JWST also discovered a rocky Earth-sized planet that orbits a nearby cool star, using its transit spectroscopy technique. Other stunning discoveries include the capturing of a stunning view of the Pillars of Creation, a star-forming region in the Eagle Nebula showing new details and structures that were invisible to Hubble. However, the JWST just made its most stunning observation yet, as it captured the remains of a star that exploded 36 years ago in unprecedented resolution, revealing brand new details about this burgeoning supernova remnant. A supernova is a powerful explosion that occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity. The outer layers of the stars are blown away in a shock wave that can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief period of time. The core of the star may collapse into a black hole or a neutron star, depending on its mass. The supernova also releases a huge amount of energy and elements that enrich the interstellar medium and form the building blocks of new stars and planets. The closest observed supernova is Kepler's supernova lit up the Milky Way in 1604. This star explosion was first identified in 1987 and is aptly known as Supernova 1987A. 
It sits about 168,000 light years away from Earth in the Large Magellan Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy of our own galaxy. Supernova 1987A represents the destruction of a blue supergiant called Sandulik 69202. Before it exploded, that star was thought to hold a mass about 20 times that of the Sun. This supernova was so bright that it was visible to the naked eye in the Northern Hemisphere, and astronomers have been tracking its expanding debris ever since. Now, the JWST has been brought to bear on the supernova's remnant in a study led by Makako Matsura of Cardiff University in the UK. The JWST used a near-infrared camera, or NIRC cam, for short, to observe a supernova remnant in infrared light, which can penetrate through dust and gas to observe visible light. The result is this spectacular image of a dead star's aftermath, showing the intricate structure and dynamics of the expanding stellar's debris. Matsura's project used the JWST to observe and measure the shockwave created by an expanding supernova, and it interacts with the material surrounding it. When massive stars, like blue supergiants, approach their end of lives, they become unstable and start ejecting a lot of matter. In the past, the Hubble Space Telescope has observed a similar event with Supernova 1987A. Initially, its shockwave was traveling at a blazing speed of about 7,000 kilometers per second. This shockwave eventually caught up with and collided with a ring of material that the dying star had thrown off over approximately 20,000 years before it exploded into a supernova. When this collision happened, the shockwave slowed down significantly to around 2,300 kilometers per hour. Within this collision region, certain areas began to brighten, reassembling a string of pearls. There are also two other rings, which are positioned differently from the main ring and are thinner and fainter. These additional rings are more puzzling, and astronomers have proposed that they might be where the star's stellar wind, which was emitted before the supernova, interacts with the material the star had previously ejected. Another possibility is that these rings are being illuminated by jets of particles from an unseen neutron star, which is a dense remnant of the star's core that may have formed along with the supernova explosion. The neutron star may have spun rapidly and emitted beams of radiation along its poles, similar to a lighthouse. The JWST has revealed new details on this front, showing that the shock wave from the supernova has expanded beyond the main ring and reaccelerated to about 3,600 kilometers per second, while producing new hotspots that may, with time, become as bright as those previously identified. The shockwave is also exciting gas around the site of the explosion, creating a diffuse glow that can be seen in infrared light. The JWST has also spotted something new, inside the main ring, where gas and dust from a keyhole-shaped ejecta cloud, there are two puzzling arcs or crescents. These features could represent the outer layers of gas blasted out by the supernova. We're seeing this bit at an angle. The JWST will continue to monitor the expanding supernova remnant as it evolves, as well as search for the neutron star at the center of the explosion, which so far has not been seen. A neutron star is a dense remnant of the star's core that may have formed along with the supernova explosion. A neutron star may have spun rapidly and emitted beams of radiation along its poles, similar to a lighthouse. There is, however, indirect evidence for the neutron star in the form of X-ray emission detected by NASA's Chandra and New Star X-ray observatories, as well as observations by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, also called ALMA, that indicate the neutron star could be hidden within one of the clumps of dust at the heart of the remnant. The X-ray emission suggests that there is a hot spot on the surface of the neutron star, where particles are accelerated to high energies and produce X-rays. The X-ray emission also varies over time, indicating that the neutron star is rotating and changing its orientation relative to Earth. The AMA observations show that there is a blob of dust near the center of the supernova remnant, which has a temperature of about 10 degrees Kelvin. The blob of dust could be obscuring the neutron star from our view, or it could be heated by the radiation from the neutron star. The JWST observation of Supernova 1987A is not only a stunning visual display, but also a valuable source of information for astronomers who want to understand how stars die and how they affect their surroundings. By studying Supernova 1987A, astronomers can learn more about the physics and chemistry of supernovae, as well as their role in shaping the evolution and diversity of galaxies. 
But that is just part of the story. Webb has also detected water vapor in the atmosphere of a habitable zone exoplanet. Water vapor is found in Earth's atmosphere and is essential for life as we know it. Finding water vapor in the atmosphere of an exoplanet means that there is a possibility of liquid water on its surface below its clouds, depending on the temperature and pressure conditions. The planet called K218b is a super-Earth that orbits a red dwarf star about 110 light-years away from Earth. Webb has used a technique called transmission spectrography to measure the chemical composition of the planet's atmosphere as it passes in front of its star. Using its technique, Webb has found evidence of water vapor, as well as traces of hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia. This makes K218b one of the most promising candidates to hosting life outside of our solar system. These discoveries are some of the most exciting and frightening pieces of evidence that there could actually be life beyond Earth. If we find one planet that has an atmosphere capable of supporting life out of an infinite number of planets, then there is a high chance there is life out there. Is there life out there? And more importantly, will James Webb find it? Let us know down in the comments. Please consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one.